Section 3.5 covers exploratory data analysis, which really focuses on a graph called the box plot. To really understand what's going on in this section, let's refresh on quartiles, which we went over in section 3.4. Q1 or quartile one is the 25th percentile. Now, if we take a look at this data set here, quartile one is number 70, this data, uh, data value right here. Being the 25th percentile means that 25% of the data falls at or below 70, and the other 75% falls at or above 70. Q2, or the median, or the 50th percentile, is right in between these two numbers. It's 80. Half of the data, 50%, falls at or below it. The other half falls at or above it. And Q3 being the 75th percentile. There's also something called the interquartile range that's given by Q3 minus Q1, and that tells us what's the middle 50% of the data look like. Nine times out of 10, when we find quartiles, we're finding them as part of a five number summary, which we're gonna to use to make a box plot. And a box plot is just a graphical representation of the five numbers that we can boil down a data set to. And those five numbers are the minimum, the maximum, and the three quartiles. There's two types of box plots. There's a regular box plot and there's a modified box plot with the difference being that the modified box plot shows outliers, regular box plot does not. Now we're gonna make a box plot in just a moment, but before we do, there's something called the outlier rule. And I had mentioned in the previous chapter that we were gonna talk about ways to quantitatively, mathematically determine if something is an outlier. And this is the first way that we can do it. Okay, if something's more than one and a half IQRs away from the quartiles, we would identify it as an outlier. So for example, in other words, uh, if we take quartile one and we subtract one and a half times the IQR, okay, that gives us a value, we call that the lower fence. If we have any data values in our data set that is below that number, we would identify those as outliers. Okay, S similarly, if we took quartile three and we added one and a half times the IQRs, uh, that would give us the upper fence uh, and anything above that upper fence would be an outlier. Okay, so we're gonna find the five number summary and determine outliers for this data set at the bottom of this slide. Once we're in class, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get this five number summary on our calculator. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna put it up on the slide here. All right, so when we have these numbers, the first thing we wanna determine is the IQR. So the IQR is Q3 minus Q1. So the IQR is two. All right, now we wanna use this to find the upper and lower fence. So lower fence first, it's Q1 minus one and a half times the IQR. So Q1 is three, one and a half times that IQR of two is zero. Anything below this number is an outlier. So if we look at our data set, that negative one would be an outlier. Upper fence, same thing, except this time we have Q3 plus one and a half times that IQR. Q3 is five, plus one and a half times two gives us eight. Anything above this number would be an outlier. So this nine is an outlier. All right, so now if we were to make this into a box plot, okay, first thing we would start with is the scale. Okay, and we wanna draw the scale so everything fits. So I'm going to go by twos. I'm going to start at negative two, and I'm going to try to space out my tick marks evenly. So zero, so two, four, six, eight, ten. All right. So now I always start with the box. Okay. So I'm going to start off by drawing this quartile here, three to five. Okay. So we're going from three to five, and then the median Q2 is at four. Okay, that's our box for a box plot. Now the whiskers are gonna go to the smallest number that's not an outlier, okay, which is this one right here. So we draw a whisker down to one, and then up to seven. Okay, and then we have an outlier at negative one. I'm gonna put a little asterisk there, and an outlier at nine. Not the neatest drawing, all right, but that's what our box plot would look like. Okay, it shouldn't have this line. I don't know what happened there. Uh, it shouldn't have this line through the middle here. Okay, it should just go out from the ends of the box there. 
okay, we want a title on this, whatever the context of this problem was. Maybe it was like um, number of fish in a fish tank. All right. So when we look at that graph, what does the box plot show? The box is showing the middle 50% of the data, okay, and then that middle line is the median. Okay, the shape, if we look at the whiskers, that's telling us is the distribution symmetric, if those whiskers are about the same length, or is it skewed to one side or the other? Okay, the skew would be towards the longer of the two whiskers. Uh, and then outliers are just denoted by asterisks or any marks uh, that aren't attached to the whiskers. Okay, ideally, if we have a box plot, we would have a histogram to go with it just so we can get a better understanding of what the shape is. Here we see some box plots with their histograms. Uh, we can see how the shapes match up. So here we have a unimodal and symmetric shape. We can see the whiskers are the same length. Okay, and then the numbers way on the outside would be considered outliers. This is kind of uh, uniform, not quite, but um, it's almost spread out where everything's about one quarter of the length. Okay, skewed to the right. Okay, this whisker is a lot longer. And this one is skewed or really symmetric with outliers. Okay, approximately symmetric here, outliers on the end. So once we take this off, we can see this is approximately the same length whiskers.